what are we talking about? Uh, order? I, I don't know. You came up here. No, before I joined, you were talking about pattern and order. Is that what you're talking about? Patterns and order? Yes, there are patterns in nature occur. Like, like sand dunes, for example. That's a great example of the total random motion, the, I believe it's called saltation of sand as it, uh, dink, dink. What am I even trying to say? As it moves across the desert floor, uh, when you zoom out, it creates these amazing uh, sand dunes that have particular patterns to them. So you think this uh, universe of order and intelligent design was created by nobody? There's no evidence of any intelligent design. No intelligent design? There's no evidence of intelligent design. Intelligent design is an argument from personal incredulity. A what circular argument from personal incredulity. There's intelligent design. How do we know? Because I see evidence of intelligent design. It could only be intelligent design. Therefore, it was intelligently designed. That is question begging and a logical fallacy. Well, it's two logical fallacies, question begging and uh, incredulity. Did you used to be a Christian when you were younger? What does that have to do with, is there evidence? So did I just completely derail your, your argument? Is that why we're changing? <laughs> no, I just, I just, I just wonder that. I think like part of you used to be Christian. I'm pretty sure I told you earlier that I was, but also I don't you actually wait, have a belief you. about what created the universe. I don't think that I don't, I don't say that it wasn't something or the other. There just isn't evidence about what created our universe. I think you're still a Christian in your heart. Okay. Otherwise, you wouldn't let me back up here because most of the time they just get really mad and hate on me for no reason. But I think you still are a Christian. And you're just fighting yourself. No. Actually, funny enough, um, uh, if I, I, ha I have a thing for this, but I don't think I have a picture of it in my phone right now. If God, I don't know if God exists or if Satan exists, but if they do... I'm almost certain that people like you worship Satan. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I, I can walk you through this. It's actually pretty simple. Come on. Okay, what happened okay. in the garden? The Eve ate the forbidden stuff. Why? She was tempted, and Adam didn't lead her in the correct manner that a man should. I didn't hear the first thing you said. She was tempted, I don't know. By? The serpent. And the serpent, according to Christians, was? Satan. There we go, Satan. Okay, so God says, don't do this thing. And, and what then do we know people about are human persuaded human to do this to thing. Don't interrupt human me, please. To God. <laughs> and then people are persuaded to do this thing by an agent that, that they place their trust in. Okay, can we go over the Ten Commandments? Let's do it. I would love to spread Oh, wait, the... wait, 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 wait. Um, so it's not just that Eve ate the apple because Satan uh, told her. She was convinced it would be a good idea, right? He's very deceiving. Exactly. So it was, it was justified. There was an argument. Made, there, was a, there was like logical reasoning behind it. Great. Perfect. Um... What's your favorite commandment? What's the first one? The very, very first one? I am the Lord your God. You shall not have any gods before me. There we go, because there's a lot of false gods. That's your favorite one? Yeah. Okay. I because... kind I think thou shall not murder is pretty good. Eh, I mean, God can murder. Okay. So do you think that, well, let's just say that God, I mean, we can agree that there is a commandment given from God that says, don't murder people. Unless you're God. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to talk about God killing anybody. So God says, don't murder people. So if people murder people, that's not good. Does that, does murdering people sound like something Satan would do or something uh, that God would do? I mean, when God does it, it's not murder. Right. So, silly me. Does telling people to murder people sound like something Satan would command or God would command? 
Probably Satan. Probably Satan. Yeah. What did what did Moses and the Israelites do to the Midianites and the Amalekites? I'm gonna guess kill them. Yeah, they committed a genocide. Okay. And they were told to do this. Yeah. Who does it say told them to do it? God. God also says Who something does it about the sound people? more okay. But you just said, what would who who would actually tell somebody to do that? That sounds more like Satan. So if I'm God not, says not don't do this, you, actually, and then there's a contradict like... and then there's a contradictory commandment to go out oh. and do exactly that. Sounds like Satan probably just tricked these people. I'm not trying to Google Bible verse. Okay, yeah, I, I hear you though. Google Bible verse? What? I don't know. I don't know if Casey's talking to me or you. I don't know. But I have, yeah. I but uh, there's, actually a, there's actually a there's actually a scripture talking about Gaza. It refers to Gaza as Aza, and it kind of predicts what's going on right now. I'm that... super not interested in that. So. Um, I, I actually I actually think that if if the Israelites were being told to do something by anybody, it was probably Satan because they went around just committing mass genocides. I don't have the knowledge on that to tell you if that's true or false. What does it sound more like? Again, we did not live in those times, so it's impossible for us to really know. Because how would we know? We didn't live then. I know that you know it sounds more like Satan, so whatever. What do you want to talk about next? How you are truly like still a Christian in your heart. What does that mean? I that, don't like, even part, believe in it, so what does it mean to be something Part of in you your still heart? does, I know for a fact. What? Part of you still believes for a fact. It's part like of me believes, and you said you know that for a fact. Uh, yeah, tell me how you came to know it. You're fighting yourself. I can just tell, bro. I can just tell. Okay, well, uh, you're a liar, and you're four feet tall. I can just tell. I'm not four feet tall. This guy yeah, makes dude, me Dude, look, I can so tell, much. okay? I can just tell. You had a house specially built for you, and the house is smaller than all other houses. It has shorter ceilings and shorter cabinets and shorter chairs and tables to make you look like a normal person, Uh when in reality, it's kind of like in the Lord of the Rings when they built all that giant furniture to make the hobbits look short. You had the opposite done with you. And I can just tell. You think I'm four feet tall? No, I know it. He realizes it. I, I can just tell. That cross behind you is at best one. No, not that one. The other one. Uh, at best one foot, one foot long from top to bottom. That thing is probably five feet tall. Yeah, I no, you had it specially made so that next to you, uh, it, so that we would be tricked into thinking that you're a normally proportioned person, but you're four feet tall. And all of the rulers in your house are are shorter, so even if you took out a ruler to to prove it, that would just be more deception. So you think I'm deceptive? Uh, you think I? I don't I think this. I know it in my heart, and I can just tell. Ooh, you came back at me. Ooh. 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 Come on. What do, you, what do you want to talk about? I mean... Do you think giants existed? No. Seriously? What evidence do you have? What evidence do you not have? <laughs> Uh. Okay, this is buddy, I don't know what's wrong with you, but I'm sure it's really hard to pronounce and I'm just not it's not funny anymore. So I think you're on. very insulting. I actually think that what I'm doing is probably unethical at this point. Why oh, God should I be a Christian? Why shouldn't you? That's not an answer. Do you think like you're the morally, the best kind of morally acceptable person you could be? I certainly try to be. I don't see how believing in uh, uh, the Christian God would make me more moral, considering those people like perpetuated slavery for centuries. The book of Exodus is literally about freeing slaves, like a large group of slaves. 
just because yeah, it talks through, about plague, through, it a, mean it supports through a holocaust it. of children and those people weren't slaves it does not it does not say that slavery is good it is literally giving you how to to deal with the society that you're in oh you're not and talking we don't, about the we don't live in that talking society. about the, the laws yeah we don't live in that society oh. You so understand? here's here's the deal. If I was going to, if you were going to create your own world, and you could only have ten rules, give me your ten rules. The commandments. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So I haven't. Okay. Do you think that slavery is bad? Yeah. Owning okay. another human Great. is bad. So. I would That's not create to say some people don't deserve that treatment. <clears throat> I would create a, if I were going to create a world and I could have ten rules. I don't know what all ten of them would be. One of them would be slavery is not allowed. So I would have the better world than you do. So Christianity doesn't make you a more moral person. There we okay. go. What no, do you that's talk that's fair because you're going to run into Christians who aren't morally sound. Yeah, like the, you. No, I have the fruits of the spirit. You'll be able to tell. I have not once insulted you or anything. So. Yeah, but you would let people do slavery. I wouldn't. Certain people deserve would you, it. I'm would not you gonna, do slavery? Not... Wait, did you just say certain people deserve slavery? Yeah. Like who? Anyone who does anything wicked towards children. Anyone. Oh, there's so many types of people. Who just... That deserve <sighs> slavery. Finish the, finish this sentence for me. Two wrongs don't. So what? We're just gonna let them go. The people who Two don't change. Two wrongs what. don't. Someone's got to put out the evil. Bro. Two wrongs don't. That's not apl applicable to this situation. Two wrongs don't. Not applicable to the situation. Right. You really Why believe should in the people big bang? be punished? You really believe in the Big Bang? We know that the Big Bang is true. So it's not really a it's not really a matter of belief. You'd have to either be ignorant, stupid, insane, or brainwashed to not understand it. It's so insane to believe this point? perfectly ordered universe. What is the point of punishing poem? people? The whole purpose of the flood was to punish the Nephilim, who were the fallen angels who procreated with women. Therefore, creating literal demons in form of people. That's what the whole point yes, of the flood that's was. That's the stupid version of a stupid story of things that it's never not a happened. Story, bro. It's also not relevant it's to the question I asked. Story. The it question is, I asked was what is the purpose of punishing people? Because you want to live in a world where. Slavery is the punishment for certain things. You're saying I'm punishment. asking, are you saying punishment point of shouldn't punishment? exist? Are you saying punishment shouldn't exist? Are you going to answer the question? Say it again. The flood no. never. You're not. You're not this stupid. You know the question. No, I don't know what you said. You said punishment shouldn't exist. Oh no, you are this stupid. What is the purpose of punishment? What is the purpose of punishment? Why construct a society that has punishments for rules? Otherwise, they're just going to keep doing it. So to correct, so it's, it's not necessarily restorative. Uh, it's to try to correct behaviors no part of the reason is to give people what they deserve i don't care if you say so wrong, vengeance right. I, you are not I, god are yes, you one vengeance. of those like old school christians that says yes my god is a jealous vengeful god and you deserve hell absolutely it's but it's not the, it's only through the thought, grace and the blood of jebus crispy that you are allowed not to suffer or whatever it's not jealousy in a human emotional way that's where you are wrong but yeah i am one of those Jesus and God is very, very jealous. Okay. As so soon as you start to mess with one of his anointed. Why do you think 
that a world constructed by you that deals out cruel and unusual punishments that I'm not sure if anybody can ever escape these cruel and unusual punishments. What makes you think that that would work despite the fact that we know that since the abolition of cruel and unusual punishments uh, and irreversible punishments and things like that, why is it that despite the fact that we know the world has been getting inexorably better since the enlightenment and, and the suspension the of ideas like that, that the world is better? You think the world is better? Why is it that better? ideas that are contrary to the ideas you have have produced a better world? You think the world is in a better place right now? It, de it depends on what you care about. If you care about people living longer lives, being subject to less disease, being embroiled in uh, fewer conflicts, dying in wars less often, being educated and all of those things, then yes, the world is unquestionably in the best state it's ever been in. You could argue well, maybe of pre-pandemic it was slightly better, but... Bro, you're basing that off the knowledge that they give you that which you can see. You don't see what's happening. Right. So you're things. now just a conspiracy theorist. So nope. what nope. data do you have that people don't live as long as they used to, that there are fewer wars than there used to be, that the rate of death from violent conflict is higher than it used to be, that uh, deaths from terrorism are higher than they used to be, that people die of diseases uh, at a greater frequency than they used to? What evidence to the contrary do you have? Okay. Opera music isn't evidence, so what evidence do you have? The King of Kings. Okay, what evidence do you have? Uh, Buddy, what evidence do you have? Jesus is, Lord. is this funny? I'm not sure. Are you a troll or are you just like really actually this brainwashed and goofy? No. I'll, ha I'll, I'll give you one thing. You do have a Chad beard, but you are... Uh, Insanely stupid and brainwashed, so goodbye.